Welcome to another J Crazy News Headlines. On today is Sunday, the last day. May you renew your strength in the Lord today. Your yeah, man, bless up to all those who are going to church today, while some are actually at work or on their way to work today. Now people, be safe, be cautious, and please be vigilant, because the criminals are out in numbers, especially on weekends, to find the next victim. Now to the persons who are living on Mona Road, be cautious because there are frequent robberies on that road and talking about criminals who are holding people at gunpoint in the day and also in the night, especially robbing students who live on Mona Road who actually go to UWE and UTEC and business persons or working class persons are get robbed by these criminals. So persons living on Mona Road Please be careful because the criminals are out in numbers, robbing, and guess what? As soon Christmas, and they want things. And if you are vulnerable, they will target you. So always be on the alert and look out in the corner. Now we head towards the Poppy in Augustown General Era. We are on the screen right now is an upcoming artist, music artist, who is known as Ija Frost. Now from last week Thursday, Ija Frost has gone missing. I'm talking about missing without a trace. Now, it not only that people's house has been ransacked, in mine tabas gone, in serving pan, full in silver gone, everything gone to the house. The man them ransacked him house. Now on Tuesday was his birthday. And all that people him just up in a business in the Hope Valley school. Now, when well, the people know say, your man, straight friend involved with the disappearance and also the ransacking of his home. That's why I always say to no people that you know, the men who have gone missing or murdered in Jamaica have been killed or set up by somebody in them circle. Always in this country called Jamaica and you have friends as I said before who are actually bad men and are the covers get a little blessing or success then bad men you and plan your death that's how I say to people in this country the less friends you have the longer you live in Jamaica now the police have been searching for this man and him can't find him all now now person are saying probably he has been killed and dump way. but the police are still searching for this artist upcoming artist upcoming businessman gone missing and house ransack my god now we head towards kingston and St. Andrew. with the evening a man known as sanji on the screen right now aka giggles was shot and killed on Church Street, basically near Pernell Charles Arcade. So based on eyewitness people, he was chased allegedly by a lone gunman and he was shot in the head. Now, people had to run for cover. People were traumatized because in a busy streets while people were up and down, this occurred. Yeah man, now people don't know why he was murdered. But based on information, Giggles was a good youth, nice streets, and basically he was murdered. Now we know something go wrong, because if you are a good youth, you have to worry about somebody coming to actually murder you. Now I believe that either he and a man had something or some bad vibes going on, or basically a bad man and he was set up by a friend. But as I said before, people in Jamaica, friends are always a kill friends. And friends are set up the death of another friend. You can see what I go on. I'll tell you later on as to why this young man was murdered yesterday evening in the Pernell Charles Arcade. Now we head towards St. Thomas, Jamaica. We are a sad case once again for the JCF. A very sad case. 
Now on the screen right now is Constable Kemar Nelson. Now he was killed in a motor vehicle crash last night around 9.45 p.m. in St. Thomas. Basically he was traveling from Martin Bay to Seaford. Basically he tried to go next vehicle. After which the vehicle lost control and crashed into a wall. Now he and three other persons were in the car. They were taken to the Princess Margaret Hospital where Constable Kemar Nelson was pronounced dead. Now based on information before his life was taken in this crash, he made a call to his female partner telling her that he's on his way home and him soon reach. Shortly after our taking the next vehicle, he crashed into a wall. Now Constable Kemar Nelson makes it a third policeman who have been killed recently. Now last week two policemen were shot and killed in West Kingston. Now Constable Kemar Nelson has been killed in a motorcycle crash. I say this to persons, be careful on our roads. Take no time, please. Take no time, the speeding kills. It's best to be late than sorry. A car and our plating. The least mistake you make can cost your life. Please people be careful on our road. This time will be cautious. This is not the fast and furious as I said before. This is actually your life you are put in danger. You not drive for yourself alone, you are drive for others. And in Jamaica, car accidents are too frequent and no persons are dying from car accidents yearly. So the persons who are driving our roads, may I beg you know, be cautious, be careful and actual, be alert. To the family of Constable Kemar Nelson, condolences and may his soul rest in peace. This is J. Grace News once again. Until then, have a blessed Sunday. Yeah man, I'm here to see a black legend. I'm here to represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play when him a review the thing then. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play when him a review the thing then. Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy